tonight's top story, a day that began with boating on the Coosa River ends in tragedy for a local family. 28-year-old Chris Mustella drowned in the river on Sunday. According to the Etowah County Sheriff's Office, Mustella could not swim and went under. The incident took place on the Coosa River about two miles downstream of Rainbow Landing. Today, Mustella's dad spoke to TV24 about his loss. It was tragedy to my family. My, you know, I lost my son in that water and uh, you know, it, it hurts, man, and that's, you know, basically all I can say, man, you got to go through it to, f to feel the pain, so, you know, but through pride and faith, you know, it's going to be all right, you know, we just got to keep prayed up, and God got a way of, uh, of taking care of everything. Responders were notified about 3.30 Sunday afternoon that a man was boating with friends, went into the water, and never resurfaced. Authorities searched through the night and are still looking for a Mustela. We're continuing the search. The Sheriff's Office, AMED Ambulance Service, uh, Southside Fire Department and Rainbow City Fire Department, along with the Etowah County Sheriff's Office, maintained a presence around the clock in the area of the, uh, of the suspected drowning. The Etowah County Sheriff's Office met and completed a briefing with the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, which has command and control of the scene. They requested Cherokee County Rescue Squad in consultation with the victim's father. One of the premier rescue squads in this part of the state, well known for their ability to uh, to do dragging operations. The reason I say premier, and, and we, we requested them specifically, has nothing to do with anybody locally or anywhere else. It's the depths that we're talking about are in excess of 20 feet, and those depths make it uh, extremely challenging. The Etowah County Sheriff's Office is not involved in the recovery process.